you open the work of a lepidopter, someone who studies butterflies, somewhere in that writing, you're going to find the language of astonishment. Every one of these 20,000 species have different color patterns, and every one of them has different shaped wings. The diversity is just so magnificent. As you watch a butterfly, to describe what you're looking at, you can't really put it into words. That's biology, it's also magic. It's impossible to look at a caterpillar turning into a butterfly and not ask how. Their metamorphosis, their life cycle, how did this happen? This astonishing, remarkable transformation. In a metamorphic insect, what you've got is two body plans. You have to first form one functional body plan, and then you have to switch gears, and you have to take and form a new body plan. I am amazed by development when it goes from egg to caterpillar, because it's such an intricate process. But then you have to enter into the chrysalis stage, and you have to get it right again. So it's like the problem squared. got to get rid of or digest the caterpillar tissues. They won't work for the adult. In fact, the cells themselves disappear, but then their components are recycled and are turned into a kind of soup out of which the adult structures will be built. It's very carefully engineered. So you got to know where you're going to end up before you start. It's like a different organism. Transitions have to take place in the heart. Transitions have to take place in the antennae. Transitions have to take place in the reproductive organs. You have to recreate adult legs, adult antennae, adult eyes. You have to change the shape of the brain and the connections between the antennae and the eyes. You have to reformat the gut so that it switches from eating plant material to eating nectar. You begin to see the depths of the problem. So for evolution to have created this sort of pathway gradually, it would take a miracle. When you see certain effects in nature, it's your responsibility as an investigator to find the cause that will explain the effect. If you saw a mechanical device of the sophistication of a butterfly, you would not for a moment hesitate to ascribe that to intelligence. Because the butterfly is so much more sophisticated, almost beyond our comprehension, than anything that we make. Planning, foresight, artistry, engineering. When you process all the evidence revealed through metamorphosis, and then you ask yourself, in your own experience, what kind of cause could bring about these results? I think the only reasonable answer is an intelligence that transcends the natural world.